Welcome back. Uh, we're going to go over update your resume part five. Step number six, give your resume more wow. So we've all been there. We want to make our resume stand out. We want it to, to pop, so to speak. We all want somebody to look at our resume and say, oh, wow, this is the guy I want, right? But what exactly is the wow factor and how can you get your resume to, to strike like that? The be the wow factor. How can we do that? The wow factor is the most important and valuable information about you as a candidate. It's the top two or three things that you want the employer to know about you those important things so that they can be impressed when they look at the resume and they can't wait to read the rest of it. So the wow factor is also part of your personal brand. So it distinguishes you out from the other candidates they're applying for the same job. So it has to be prominent throughout your resume. It has to be there, especially in the beginning. Uh, it has to look like you're something different than the rest of everybody else so that it won't be missed and it's instantly putting your best foot forward. So this has to include a few special elements that really get you noticed so that it's memorable and impressive. So it must be specific. So these factors need to tell what you, what you have achieved or accomplished, not what role you were in, not what part you played, but those achievements that really knock it out of the ballpark. And like we mentioned before in the other one, you have to present quantifiable and measurable data, if at all possible. Okay, here's an example of a vague statement. Responsible for contract closing and revenue growth. Now here's an example of a specific statement. Grew contract closing 68% and increased gross revenue 40% for the following years. And then you list the years you did that. It needs to show action. You need to make sure that you can show the action by changing it from words like responsible for and duties included with action words like grew, developed, pioneered, or transformed. And again, that list is below of the 170 action verbs that you can check out and look at. They're going to help you to write a great resume. Again, where to include your wow factor. Now the wow factor can go anywhere in your resume, but it has to be in specific places. And these places, uh, this is this is what we're going to talk about, where they, where they need to go. Uh, the resume summary. I've never been a fan of a bland, just safe, safe resume summary. I'm a huge proponent of what I like to call a career snapshot and that's what that resume summary should be uh, some people call it a uh, bio page so those that's exactly what we're talking about i did a video on bio pages and and this is similar the the, the resume summary is similar to that but it should be a career snapshot of who you are so it's basically a beautiful picture of two or three of your wow factors in that particular bio. So it's going to have the most impressive and noteworthy information about you as a candidate. It gives the reader a quick glance at what you've accomplished throughout your career. So I also recommend that you do two or three of those wow statements. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to put too much in there. But you also want it to grab their attention so that you need to put a couple in there that's going to make a difference, that's going to impress them. You can also put it at the top of your resume as a personal statement and, and it tells them a little bit about you in the beginning. So remember when writing your statement, be concise. You don't want to be too verbose, which means explaining something with more words than necessary. You don't want to do that. And it's, and it's harder to say what you need to say in fewer words but those fewer words are more impactful if you can get the message across with the fewest words possible. Now, you're not give them the, giving them the whole story right now. Remember, uh, you're trying to get in the door with this resume. You're trying to get there. Uh, you can give them the full story throughout the resume or uh, some of the resume. You can give them the full story at the interview, but we still have to go over uh, a, a little further details in your work experience. So. Uh, save room for that. You don't want to go too much. So it's always good to do that. Thank you for being here. We're going to uh, be back next, next time with the rest of the, our, our tips on how to improve your resume. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. Don't forget to check the links below. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Ciao, ciao.